sorry guys, but today we're just gonna be doing some chit chatting. I uh, I basically never make videos like this where I'm just talking to you guys. Um, I actually saw a video PewDiePie made called Why I Didn't Quit, and I felt like I related to it a lot. Um, but more so, I just admire how open he is with his audience and how it feels like he can just speak candidly on how he's doing and the way he feels about things. And I feel like I kind of fall short on that a little bit with you guys. Um, um, I think I just sort of assume you don't want to just listen to me talk, hear how I'm doing, you just want content. But I also recently have been seeing a lot more people who maybe haven't seen the channel in a while, they say things like, wait, I thought Dennis quit Roblox. Or people saying stuff like, hey, well, you don't have to force yourself to make Roblox videos. But anyways, I think it's kind of a sign that maybe I can and should be more open with you guys. Um, and just letting you in on where I'm at and uh, where the channel's at and what I plan to do with it. I think when I first announced that I was quitting Roblox, I didn't fully understand why I was unhappy and what needed to change. Roblox was a very easy thing to point to, and I think that's because at one point I began to dread making Roblox videos. But in reality, looking back, I think I just fundamentally disagreed with the way I was approaching YouTube as a whole. I made videos out of obligation, trying to keep up with the constant, never-ending race that is content creation. YouTube can be an extremely deep rabbit hole of analytics and trends, and it's so easy to get caught up in it and often completely consumed by it, as many YouTubers end up falling into and that's what ultimately leads them to burnout. But something really interesting happened. I ran a poll recently asking when you guys first started watching my videos, and it was pretty crazy to see that 70% of you started watching me in 2016, 2017. And it made me realize for so long, like I was making videos for what I thought would do well on YouTube instead of making videos for what my audience would enjoy. And I think that's a very important difference. I'm sure you noticed that the content has aged up a bit recently and it's actually really strange. But as time goes on, I've noticed that I'm getting recognized more in person than I used to because a lot of my viewers who watched me in 2016 are now old enough to be at the same places that I go to when I'm in public. Like I used to only get recognized by kids, but now it's mostly teenagers or even young adults sometimes. And it's actually really cool to see, but it also kind of opened my eyes a bit. I, I, I think it's no secret that things have been changing on the channel recently, as I'm sure a lot of you noticed. Over the last year, there has been so much change on like the back end of the channel. I got a new manager, I expanded my editing team as I'm sure a lot of you notice the consistency and hopefully the quality of videos has improved greatly recently I made so many new friends from just putting myself out there more I went to RDC this year which was so amazing I met so many devs and creators that were it was honestly so inspiring, but it also made me realize how important it is to be involved with the community. And Roblox truly does have an amazing community and, and I only want to be more involved with it going forwards. And I didn't really allow myself to be for so long. After the pals disbanded, I felt like I was doing everything completely alone and now having friends that I can relate to and hang out with both online and in person. It makes content creation just so much more fun and honestly so much easier also. Okay, so what is my point in all of this? Why am I making this video? I want to make it a more regular thing to just openly communicate with you guys. I, I want you to be able to expect videos where I'm just talking to the camera because I think it's more important than I think. 
and hopefully it gives you guys the insight that you may be wanting. Um, I also just want to be able to update you guys on how I'm doing. And on that note, I'm doing amazing life. The channel, everything is just in such a good spot right now. Like I'm, I'm so happy with like how the summer went, even though I was doing like a crazy amount of traveling, the channel's been doing well. I've been actually more consistent with videos, even though I've been like busier in life overall. And definitely a huge part of that is just like expanding the team behind the videos. I basically have nothing but high hopes for the channel going forwards. I, I fully intend on videos being the best they've ever been. And although they may end up being a little different from what a lot of you guys are used to i think any sort of change is gonna upset some people you'll never be able to please everybody but ultimately i've been having way more fun with youtube lately and i think going forwards that's always going to be my top priority otherwise though the fact that you made it this far into the video i genuinely really appreciate it if you haven't already maybe consider subscribing I think we can hit 10 mil, but I do need your help. Thank you, genuinely, and I hope you're excited for what's next.